Hi YouTube, it's Lex. So, um, I thought I would do something a little different tonight. It's Friday night. Um, I'm sure you're all kind of tired of the same old stuff. So, uh, I know I am. Anyway, um, last week you might have caught, uh, on Sunday I did a video. Somehow I was in a time warp. I hadn't had enough coffee. I think I said it was October 9th or 8th or something. Anyway, it wasn't. We're in November. Um, that's why it would be my three-month surge anniversary last Friday. Anyway, today is a week after that, Friday. Um, so, numbers haven't changed much. Um, clothes are fitting a little differently, but I'm at 2.05. And... Uh, you know, I just need to exercise a little bit more. We only made it to the gym once, and that was uh, today after work. My husband and I um, went over there and worked out for about, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. Um, and that was fun. I like my gym. I like going to the gym. Um, I don't like gyms that are crowded. Uh, this one is very reasonable. So, happy with that. Um, so, yeah, it's Friday night. Uh, We've just been um, spending time together. We had a lovely dinner. I ate steak um, and some bok choy and a little bit of bread. Delicious. It was great. I shared some wine. Right now, um, having a martini. Yes, I drink. Um, occasionally, I like to have a drink. I don't find that uh, it's a problem with the uh, Particle gastric sleep. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. Teetotalers probably are bothered by that. I'm sorry. So today I thought I would talk about a non scale victory. Um, tonight, it's actually around almost uh, 10 o'clock. So, one of my big passions uh, besides running. Clothes, obviously, I am a woman, but, uh, you know, not too surprising, it's shoes. I love them. Um, but most of my adult life, um, I've had to kind of compromise. So what kind of shoe am I going to wear? Something with a big heel. Um, something that's not going to uh, wobble around. Something I'll be able to walk a distance in, um, you know, because I'm heavy. Um, but what I found is as my weight's going down and I don't know, maybe shoe manufacturers are just a little different now, but I am able to wear some great shoes and I already had a bunch of shoes before. Um, not all of them were really appropriate for my weight, but I'm ambitious, especially when it comes to clothes and shoes. So I want to show you some of the shoes that I love. Some of you that don't love shoes, you might want to just tune out now, um, but it's fun for me. Maybe some of you love shoes too. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I used to wear, um, and I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I wear now. And uh, yeah, so here goes. Okay, so bear with me just one sec here. Some of the shoes I used to wear. Okay, so right before I had my surgery, I uh, got some two pairs of clogs. Um, they're fairly tall, but they have really thick heels. And that was the safe thing for me at, uh, you know, 250 pounds, you don't want to walk around on little tiny heels. So sorry, hold on. Okay. Look at that huge heel. Okay. Granted, that's a lot of heel. I don't know. It's like three and a half inches. I should have brought a tape measure, huh? That would have been kind of cool. Um, so what is a credit card? I don't know. What is a credit card? Anyway, they're pretty tall. I'm probably, I'm ordinarily 5'5", five five, so I'm probably 5'8", five 5'7", five in these. So I got those. Um, and along along with that, I bought, I bought these. So a little bit thinner heel, even taller. I don't know. These are I don't have something to measure it against. 
Anyway. So I bought those two clogs. Pretty comfortable. And then I've had these for a while. Um, and again, look. Look at the heel. So, and these always bothered me because the little straps, my fat would poke out. <laughs> fat would poke out. It's weird because I've lost at least a shoe size now. Um, fit, almost 50 pounds down. And I don't find, um, I don't find my fat poking out. Uh, my toes are much more comfortable, you know, uh, certainly around the ankle. Anyway, love these shoes. Um, I still wear them, but that's a huge hit. <clears throat> okay, so what work shoes? Typical, I guess, what you would think of. Work shoe, wear these to work. Um, oh, work shoes, dress barn. These, I love them because they're like a kind of a gray, where's the screen? Kind of a gray tweed. Very cute shoe, but again, not very adventurous. Um, these, I still, I wear these all the time at work. It's a little booty, tiny little heel. I don't know, it's two inches or something like that. So I wear those. Um, a sh regular shoe that I would buy prior to weight loss surgery would have this heel. That's hot, hot pink and red shoe. And these are Madden's. So they were really comfortable, but they look, they look comfortable. <laughs> um, again, uh, Madden's, Madden's little peak toe. I mean, they're cute, but safe. They're, they were very comfortable. Now they're too big. Anybody want a shoe? I have lots of them. This I bought went out right, right as I was having the surgery thinking, oh, I'm going to wear a little thinner heel. Um, uh, and I love them. They're electric blue <laughs> suede shoe. <laughs> I love them. Unfortunately, because I lost a, a shoe size, I can't wear them. They're Calvin Klein's. They're absolutely gorgeous. Perfectly made. Um, not a scuff on them. I wore them in the hotel after we purchased them and I haven't worn them out because they just slip right off. Anyway, that's a size 10 shoe. If you like them, let me know. Anyway, so, oh, here's another work shoe. I actually I love these. Burgundy buckle. Burgundy with a buckle. But again, Look at how thick that heel is. I just, safe, safe. I, I still feel comfortable in these shoes. You know, I'm, I like them. These are Franco Sartos, so they weren't hugely expensive shoes. Um, but they're cute, comfortable, safe shoes. What am I buying now? That's not what I'm buying anymore. What am I buying? I'm buying like, I'm like, I'm buying like these shoes. <laughs> That's really the kind of shoe. That's the kind of shoe I want to wear now. I don't know. Is that a five inch heel? It's a little heel. I feel perfectly comfortable walking around in it. Um, I bought these the other day. These are my new favorite shoes. Um, so that is my new favorite shoe. So comfortable. I don't know. I was missing out. It was, I think if I had known that I could wear shoes like these, that I would have fought my way to surgery maybe a little earlier. It's a beautiful shoe. I just, I don't know. Anyway, so those, and then my old favorites, of course, kind of falls, strappy, studded, but again, the safe heel. Sorry if I'm boring you. 
I never get bored of shoes. And then these I bought last season. Um, I bought them last fall. They actually, they were a Christmas gift from my mother. Thank you, mom. Um, and I was really, I was so worried that they were not going to fit around the calf. Um, these are a 10 wide. My calves have always been really, really big, but they did. I managed to just barely get them up. They've got like a, a, kind of a stretchy thing there and they're pretty wide up at the top. Safe heel, safe heel. Buckle on the other side. But I mean, they're pretty hot, I guess, you know. They're not that tall. They come up just under my knee. Um, they, I bought them one season ago. I can't, I'm not going to be able to wear them very much longer. They're sagging down. They don't look all that attractive. I'm pretty sad about that. But next time I'll get some with spiked teals. A little taller, probably. But these I can wear to work. Um, I can wear them under slacks and you really can't see the bagginess. Um, anyway, that is the, that's the extent of the shoes that I want to show in public. I have some others. I have a pair of uh, leather flip-flops or sandals, I guess. I call them flip-flops that, you know, I just wear around the house or out in the backyard or whatever in the, the nice weather. Um, tennis shoes. I have tennis that I wear to the gym. Do we call them tennis shoes anymore? I don't know. I used to call my flip-flops thongs. That's how old I am. So yeah, 43. Anyway, um, so beyond that, what have we been doing this week? Uh, we've been eating out a lot. So that wasn't great. Um, maybe that's partly why I haven't lost any weight. Um, I've been watching tons of videos. I do it on my lunch break. I do it after work. I do it before bed. It's pretty much my favorite pastime right now. It's just watching people's videos. Oh, and if you have never seen My Drunk Kitchen, um, I suggest you tune in because she's hilarious. Anyway, uh, beside the point. So that's the extent of my video. Um, I don't have a number change, so I guess in that way it's not that exciting, but uh, shoes are exciting to me. It's Friday night. I got shoes um, and a lovely cocktail. What more could I want? Husband's fighting upstairs. Life is good. So to all of you, I hope you have a wonderful weekend um, and take care. We'll talk to you soon.